Hello everyone, this is Gorax and today we received the patch notes of this week update. We can find them on pridewind.gg website and they come from original Korean patch notes which, which can be found here. Now this patch will be introduced on the 2nd of February and will introduce new character Velana which I was really waiting for as this is an undead girl and so far I am happy we'll have a skill set at the end of the video as well. Oh, finally, we'll have a story update in increasing the chapters to chapter 16. So that means everyone who's stuck at chapter 1545 will be able to progress. And also for spenders, there will be a cash shop updates. So as we know, Velana, this is going to be an undead girl. And I was expecting it to be either a warrior or a dex character, according to what we could see in the preview video. And I'm happy to say it will be warrior as warrior is something that the undead faction is missing if we look at the souls available right now um and that faction has a strong tongue of petra and then basically we have an assassin jacqueline support pre mage violet mage arusha and uh mage nini so we really need a front line and i'm happy that uh, velana will be a frontline warrior that will specialize in bleed and stuff which i'm gonna read about in just a minute so as you can see here, we'll have a story update and we'll have two packs available after clearing 1620, which will have some type summon scale, uh, summon tickets and epic selection box, but it's quite pricey. And then at 1645, we'll have similar pack and at the same price. Okay, so two new packs for those who like to spend money, uh, more summons basically. And this is a small patch because the next patch we'll have on the 9th of February will be the big one with a lot of quality changes that you could see around uh, the websites for a quite a long time. Now let's move on to Velana's skill set. Right, so Velana as a set will be a warrior of strength, okay? And specialties will be controller and damage over time, okay? So this is quite interesting. Her ultimate will... Make her go into a frenzy, dealing damage equal to 200% of attack. Okay, keep in mind these values might change to all enemies and open the wounds, which cannot be cured. Enemies will open wounds, continuously receive 55% damage over 2 seconds for 12 seconds. That is quite good. Targets that are already bleeding will receive 140% additional damage. And the damage goes up to 280 at level 201. And additional damage changes to 180 with bleeding damage changes to 65 and adds an effect which stuns bleeding target for three seconds to 201 so that is crowd control here that's quite good now her main skill will slash the nearest enemy and then moves forward in a range of five meters length and at 180 degrees angle this deals damage equal to 200 percent of attack and deals 120 additional damage to bleeding targets. Okay, so we can see this bleed synergy here. And the damage goes up to 220 at level 181 with additional chance cha damage change increased to 140. And that's an effect which stuns the target for two seconds if it's bleeding. So we can see two stuns here already. Okay, so that's quite good. We need this control as well. Now a subscale will summon a soul that pieces the ground dealing damage equal to 110% of attack in a 2.5 meters radius and make the target bleed, okay? So this is where we'll have our bleed souls. Dealing DOT equal to 50% of attack every 2 seconds for total of 12 and the damage goes off up to 130 at level 121 and bleeding damage up to 60% and add additionally the bleeding changes to 14 seconds. Another sub skill Swirling Frenzy summons a sword which deals damage equal to 100% of attack in 2.5 meters radius, deals 100% additional damage to bleeding targets. Damage goes up to 160% and additional damage to 120. On top of that, on level 41, so that's very early, it adds an effect which increases her physical resistance by 30% and magic resistance by 30% for 14 seconds, okay? So this is our survival rate going up right here. On top of that, and this is what I've been looking for in a unit, we will have a passive lifesteal, okay? Uh, Valana Sword 6 and Nemi Vlad. All of her attacks are dealt as critical hits against bleeding enemies. And her lifesteal increases by 30%. 
Okay, at 161, the life still goes to 40%. Now, obviously, this kit looks so strong on the paper, but we will obviously have a chance to test it in a couple days. However, I need to start looking into the blood, uh, to the bleed synergy, and what comes to my mind is Rose. Okay, I believe her skills actually. Oh no, they burn. Okay, so that is noted. But yeah, we need this burn synergy. So I need to look into the units that synergize well, and hopefully I'll get some of them. As you can see, my plan was to get these undead units and a couple. A, a bit invested right now but i'll be looking forward to addition of banana tell me what you think about her kit and if you're going to uh pick pick up her from the banner thank you for watching stay safe bye